Cool. All right, next up we have the uh, team we previously saw, um, Shane Mann and Joe Stewart. It's the CEO and CTO of Splice, a blockchain development consultancy focused on NEO. They're both City of Zion members. So please help me welcoming to the stage Shane Mann and Joe Stewart, founders of Hash Puppies, a virtual pet trading and breeding game. All right, can you, can you still hear us? Our microphones are still working now. We had them on the entire time. Test. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, we have the clicker. Let's get the clicker. I believe it's the green button. Oh, it is, yeah, you're right. Are we queued up yet? Maybe not. One minute. Let's go. Mm. There we go. See that? Awesome. All right, this is uh, Hash Puppies. Um, so we already told you who we are in the last uh, presentation. Uh, we wanted to let you know that uh, there's more of us here, actually, uh, the team members that are, uh, you know, we've, we've brought on board just to work on this game, uh, but they are actually uh, Splice employees now. Uh, so also here in the room, we have uh, Lori, Annie, and Crystal. Uh, who are uh, Ken Maya, Selke, and Desert Rat, if you've uh, been out uh, in, in our Discord. Um, and uh, the, uh, they are pivotal to the game. And not only that, uh, they also have some limited edition Hash Puppy stickers on them. If you would like one, just uh, find them. They're over here wearing the Hash Puppy t-shirts. Uh, yeah, just come up to them and say, hey, I'd like a sticker, or maybe I'd like more than one sticker. And let us know, hey, which sticker is your favorite? Because we, we've, uh, we've made multiple ones uh, just with the artwork that we've done so far and uh, getting an idea of uh, you know, what people are, are uh, expecting and maybe like about uh, you know, what we're working on here. So what is Hash Puppies? So this is a blockchain game. It's in development. We haven't finished it yet. Uh, people mm. have uh, had. I guess a lot of uh, games coming out on the Ethereum blockchain seems like uh, every other day you hear about a new game on the Ethereum blockchain, which, uh, you know, I don't know how game-like they are. There's, there's certainly some element of that. But what we want to do with Hash Puppies is be different. You know, NEO is a different kind of blockchain than Ethereum. It's better, and we want our game to be better than any game on the, NEO, uh, on the Ethereum blockchain. So. Uh, we plan to have interactive gameplay, actual graphical game like you might expect. Uh, we're still going to incorporate some of the ideas like uh, being able to trade your pets, having them represented by a non-fungible token, uh, which we have to develop actually a non-fungible token standard for NEO. And so we're going to do that as part of the game and contribute to the community so that if anybody else might have use for a non-fungible token for games or other reasons, uh, that that standard will be out there and people can uh, make use of that and the example code that, that we build for that. Well, that, that's also become a little bit of a community effort with the City of Zion. Yes, we've actually got a, an effort uh, going forward to, uh, with the other uh, City of Zion members to, uh, to uh, work together on the standard. It's not just us. You know, we're part of, the, of this larger project, and, and we're trying to get everybody's input on it and, and you know, just contribute in the way that we can. Uh, there's going to be a genetic algorithm and breeding system to it. You might have, you know, be familiar with the whole crypto kitties idea where uh, you take a pet, you breed it with another pet, you get a third pet, and it has some different characteristics that may be more or less rare. Uh, we're definitely looking at implementing uh, that feature. But beyond that, we want to also have the ability to accessorize. You know, you can't do much with a crypto kitty except for look at it. Uh, but we would like to have people be able to interact with their pet. Uh, you know, buy add-on items and, and, you know, maybe even grooming and, and go beyond, uh, you know, what the uh, traditional games are. Um, so that is, in a nutshell, you know, what Hash Puppies is. Uh, we want to tell you that it is not going to be a CryptoKitty clone or another one of these other, um, you know, 10 or so now CryptoKitties clones that just seem to be you know, uh, a thinly veiled Ponzi scheme that has pictures representing them. And for some reason, you know, it's, I guess, uh, useful to or, you know, valuable to own one of these pictures. Um, but that doesn't seem very fun to us. So 
we're definitely not going to go down that route, and we're not going to, uh, to just be yet another one of those type of games. Uh, and then uh, it's also definitely not related to, you know, weed culture. There's, you know, hash puppies, you know, kind of get a little snicker from some people that, you know, uh, may have dabbled in that area before. Um, it's not related to that at all. Obviously, hashing has to do with, uh, you know, blockchain in some sense. It is also, you know, hashtags. Nobody ever thinks about that as being related. Um, so it's, it's actually based on something completely different uh, if you're... Uh, you know, we're from the southern U.S., so this is, uh, this is something that's, uh, you know, uh, maybe a more familiar word to us. It's actually a play on, on hush puppies. You want to tell us about hush puppies, Shane? Yeah, they're basically fried, fried bread, fried cornmeal. Um, sometimes you'll find maybe other tasty treats inside, but yeah. well, um, the, uh, the, I guess the other thing is, uh, you know, hash is, from what I understand, it's from the ancient uh, hashishin. I think they use hash to I've heard that. drug people, and that's where the word assassin came from. Not that we're going to assassinate puppies, but Definitely just a little, not. just a little entomology there. Definitely not. Definitely not assassinating any puppies. Yeah. But so yeah. So we we actually started. You know, we thought of the name and, and oh, that's that's kind of you know cool play on words, and but didn't realize you know how uh, hush puppies as a food item really didn't translate outside of the region as much. And especially when we talk to people in Europe, they're like, I don't, I don't understand. What is a hush puppy? What is that? So we had to explain it a little bit. Well, there's also a shoe, right? Yeah, there's also a, a hush puppy brand shoe. And uh, some people are like, oh, yeah, they, they're named after the shoe. Yeah. No? No. <laughs> so it's fun, though. <clears throat> So our current roadmap, um, we just started this uh, in December. Um, you know, we basically were inspired when we learned about, you know, CryptoKitties basically taking down the Ethereum blockchain, uh, you know, with all of its, uh, uh, you know, I think uh, it wasn't an outrageous amount of, of traffic. You know, a blockchain should be able to handle that many transactions per second. Uh, but Ethereum wasn't, apparently. And we said, well, we know that NEO can. Just based on our experience mm -hmm. looking at the ICOs that have come out and all of the transactions that uh, you know, were um, done during those ICOs, you know, in the first few minutes, people minting tokens uh, for the ICO, we knew it could handle far more transactions per second than, than NEO as it was, uh, than Ethereum. And that was proven. So you know, we felt pretty confident that you know, this would be the ideal platform for a game of the sort. Uh, so we started out with the intention of we would have a pre-sale and you know do some sort of uh, 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 way for people to you know get in early on the game and then you know when the actual release happens they could trade their tokens for the actual non-fungible tokens um, so getting into to look at the the you know legal regulations and and how those are panning out around ICOs and having to do KYC and AML checks uh, on people or, you know, tell people in the U.S. and China that you're not allowed to participate. It just seemed really stupid uh, when we're talking about virtual puppies on the blockchain. Um, so we, we decided to, to not go that route. We actually, uh, you know, uh, did the math and figured out that we would be able to fund the game ourselves. So, so that's what we did. But we still wanted to be able to um, you know, reward the community in a way. So we decided that we would just create a token that could be exchanged later. We call it the redeemable hash puppy token, RHT. And we would just airdrop it. Now, we couldn't airdrop it to everybody. Um, you know, there's a huge amount of NEO addresses that have been created since the inception of the blockchain. And, uh, you know, having to give out half a million puppies isn't really, um, it's not really scalable. Uh, so we had to make a decision, well, how are we going to distribute these tokens? Uh, and we went with a route, you know, that, you know, some people might, uh, you know, not necessarily agree with. But uh, we'll talk about that uh, a little bit more about how we went about it. But beyond that, you know, we're going to get, uh, I think, Neolink released yeah. into beta, like we talked about in our uh, earlier talk today. Uh, we want to have a playable game on the test net that people can, can beta. Uh, we'll probably invite some people from our Discord to come and participate and help us uh, beta test the game uh, before its actual release. Uh, and then get that out there and on the main net and have it a playable game. And then maybe even take it to uh, the mobile space and uh, be able to you know, uh, have a full featured game on every platform. That's our goal, anyway. 
So the airdrop, um, as far as I know, this is the first token airdrop on the Neo blockchain where somebody you know, made a smart contract and then proceeded to hand out uh, the tokens. So we made a decision that uh, we would take a snapshot of the blockchain on uh, Christmas Eve, and we would say, OK, anybody that had a transaction on the blockchain between the time we announced the game and uh, Christmas Eve uh, would potentially be qualified to receive uh, a redeemable hashed puppy token if they held between 1 and 99 NEO. So basically, we're looking for people that are a little bit on the you know, smaller side of the scale, not whales, but you know, people that made a modest investment. And our, our, our goal with this was, um, you know, one, to reward people that maybe just got in a NEO just because they heard about you know, our game announcement, because we figured that'd probably be the people that were included in that batch and be the easiest to, to overlap with. Uh, and then our other thinking was that you know, uh, getting basically this interest built up among smaller players that would come in and then tell their friends and family, hey, I heard about this new thing called NEO, that would, that would build the ecosystem as well. If we just handed out NEO to you know, everybody or, or we chose, let's, you know, let's take the people that have been in NEO the longest or the people that have the most NEO and give them the NEO, well, they've already told their friends and family about NEO and it's probably not gonna go as far as it was on the smaller one. So we did get a little bit of, you know, uh, I guess, negative feedback, I guess, from people that, oh, I had 100 NEO and I missed out. Well, you know, the good news is that uh, you're, you're actually not left out. We're actually doing uh, something to benefit you as well. Uh, aside from the, the uh, little challenge that we issued in our earlier talk where we're supposed to have some people invoking the contract right now, uh, my badge is flashing, so I'm waiting for some invocations here. People need to to get on that and uh, you know invoke some contracts and win some RHT. I know there were some technical issues earlier. One guy was waiting for his badge or his um, wallet to sync, so maybe yeah. we can extend the. Yeah, you window. might need your wallet to be completely synced so that you uh, you have a current transaction there when you send your gas. Um, <clears throat> and the other thing is that uh, for this airdrop, uh, we did have to write a series of scripts uh, to uh, uh, not just the smart contract that had the airdrop feature where you mint tokens in a batches instead of one by one. Uh, but also back in to take the snapshot of addresses and feed that into the smart contract and mint them over and over again over the course of you know several hours or days or how many ever you want to do. So we've got that code, um, and we've got you know our experience around that. So if you are planning to do an airdrop and you want to do that, um, you know talk to us. You know we can we can give you our code and we can you know tell you what we did and, and tell you about some pitfalls on it and uh, maybe help you out. So yeah, get in touch with us if you're going to do that. So, yeah, community rewards. We're going to do more giveaways of tokens. Um, you know, we've had people uh, come into our Discord and they're giving us ideas for gameplay. You know, they're helping us moderate the Discord or just giving us general creative input or telling us, you know, uh, feedback on, you know, the logo or feedback on, the, you know, the latest puppy design or whatever. So we've already been rewarding those people in our Discord. So if you want to join the Discord and, you know, Get, get a hash puppy, that's, that's really all you have to do, just come and contribute. And there's gonna be more uh, announcements of rewards, contests, things like that, as we progress towards the release of the game. So there's gonna be an opportunity for everybody. So if you missed out on the airdrop, uh, you really haven't missed out, just, just come and, and, and join the community uh, and you have a shot. So how do you join the community? Well, we have uh, Facebook, we have Reddit, uh, we have the Discord, uh, like I said, and Twitter. So follow us on all those places. You're going to get all of the uh, announcements that are going out. And we have a mailing list as well. If you go to the website, uh, which is hashpuppy.es, uh, you're going to be able to join that as well. And so there's all these ways you can keep in touch with us and learn about whatever the latest uh, reward is going to be announced. Uh, we've been receiving a number of questions uh, around the game in the Discord and on the mailing list. Uh, so what we're doing is basically compiling a frequently asked questions document that's actually, there's actually a channel in our Discord specifically <coughs> devoted to these questions. So these are the most common ones we've got. Um, you know, how much is, is the hash puppy going to be worth? So people are like, well, I know CryptoKitties are, you know, you know, have gone for thousands and thousands of dollars. Is that going to be the same thing with, with hash puppies? Uh, our goal is to make this a affordable game to play. We want to actually have players 
enjoying a game rather than investors looking to just profit off of it, right? So we're actually targeting uh, you know, a far lower price. Now, we haven't decided what that price is, but, but we just want to say we want it to be affordable. We want anybody to be able to play it. So you can extrapolate from there, I think. Um, some people had their NEO and kind of met, fulfilled the requirements of the airdrop, but they had their tokens on an exchange instead of in a wallet. Unfortunately, there's no real good way to airdrop tokens to somebody who has their address on an exchange. That, that address really isn't yours, it's the exchange's mm -hmm. wallet. You know? So maybe the exchange got some tokens if they kept the, the balances separated, but it, they might have had them all in a big hot wallet and you really have no way of knowing. So unfortunately, we couldn't reward people uh, that, that met that criteria otherwise uh, outside of the exchange. Uh, and then the redemption process, we're going to build in, uh, we've already built into the contract for RHT a, rede a redeem function that will be invoked by our non-fungible contract. Uh, so then you'll be able to come in, you'll be able to trade one of the fungible tokens, uh, you know, that are just, you know, uh, a number basically for a non-fungible token, which means it's going to have a unique genetic code, it's going to have uh, properties that are carried with it, and that what from that point forward, you can trade it, and those properties will be carried to the next person that owns it. So we want to engage everybody in here. Like I said, uh, any questions, suggestions, and feedback you have, maybe on potential gameplay ideas, et cetera, uh, get into our Discord and go to our suggestion box channel. And that's a great place to just you know, leave your ideas. And again, uh, you know, this is, this is something that we're, we're going to help uh, reward the community that's, you know, helping us. So, the next thing that we have here, uh, we actually have a little video that uh, has the initial first stages of our design. It's for the, the menuing system. It doesn't show any actual gameplay yet. Uh, but we're actually going to uh, give you a kind of a sneak peek of uh, the artwork and uh, the design and, and where we're going with the, uh, the ideas around that. So if we uh, play that video now. So the menuing system is going to take you between the different realms or worlds that you're going to have interaction in. Uh, obviously, you're going to start out in the home. The puppy's going to live in a place where you're going to be able to play with them. Um, and that'll be your home base for, for most everything. Uh, beyond that, we're going to have uh, dog houses. Some people have the idea of having kennels, but this is our concept around that. And that's going to be something that you use, um, you know, not just to keep your puppy happy, uh, but also uh, might be uh, required actually for the breeding process. Uh, and it might be something where it's actual virtual property that could be invested in by an another party. Like I said, there's going to be add-on items, so we're going to have a store where you can go in, you can buy a collar, you can buy an outfit or a hat or sunglasses for your pet. Um, you know, anything that we think of, and that those might also be uh, virtual items represented by tokens that might also be connected to your main hash puppy token and can be traded. And then there'll be the park. Obviously, you want to take your puppy. You want to keep your puppy happy in this game because they're not going to breed unless they're happy. If you don't play with them, you don't interact with them, then you know, they're just going to sit around and, and not do much. So we want to make it so that you actually have to take care of them and, and care for them and make it a fun game in that manner. So that's, that's, our, that's our demo. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's. Uh, uh, hats off to our, our art team that's, you know, really uh, just plugging away. The, the game's being developed in Unity, uh, and so we've already got kind of that uh, C-sharp pedigree, you know, that goes hand in hand with Neo, so we're really excited about the possibilities around that. So I think that uh, we are uh, near the end, right? Yeah. Okay, so uh, thank you. We have any questions? <clears throat> Any questions? Hmm. All right. Any questions? Well, thank you, everybody. Yeah, thank you.